All right, time now is 6.15. Let's get a check on the weather with meteorologist Sam Sam Perry as we continue to track this monster of a hurricane. Sam, this thing gaining strength overnight, right? Oh, yeah, and it has just gained strength Jeez. some more. It's now up to 145 miles wow. per hour. This is the latest update. And just look at the structure of this hurricane. Here's the eye. And just watch this thing explode as it continues to move up through the warm Gulf waters. So here's New Orleans. It's just about ready to hit the coastline now in the next hour or so. Uh, so it's going to make landfall a bit earlier. It's a Category 4 hurricane. And again, it says 2 o'clock here, but I think it's going to be in the next few hours. And look at how it goes just to the west of New Orleans. And yes, exactly 16 years ago, except Katrina went the other way. It went like right in here and really pummeled New Orleans with that massive uh, flooding too. So uh, this is just a little bit different, but it is uh, looks to be a bit stronger as it hits uh, Category 4 status. It could get even a little stronger right before it hits landfall. Meanwhile, uh, tracking it uh, moving forward through the middle of the week, look where it ends up uh, heading towards. Yes, it is heading towards us. It is going to be coming off the mid-Atlantic coastline, and it's going to go to our south right now. And we are going to be in the bullseye for heavy rain. This would make it the fourth, number four, indirect hits this year of hurricanes and tropical systems. So this is something we're going to watch carefully. Here's another look at it. Uh, look at that concentric eye. and Look at all that heavy rain. It's tightened up big time, uh, those uh, concentric rings of uh, massive uh, uh, rainfall and then put the maps in motion and take the European model and I'm just going to track this for you and watch this thing uh, begin to move right up and just to our south and again it puts us in the very heavy rainy uh, position not the severe weather or any tornadic activity you know those spin-ups that we talk about when a storm goes to our west so again this would happen on now a Thursday for the most part seems to be a little bit slower but uh, uh, I think it's going to be a little bit faster because just took away the speed of the storm. So what to expect? Mostly cloudy, becoming more humid this afternoon. We have a cold front moving through the tomorrow evening, possible strong to severe storms. Watching Hurricane Ida, heavy rain possible Wednesday into Thursday morning. Here's a storm prediction center for Monday afternoon. Marginal risk uh, for strong to severe thunderstorms, but anywhere in Connecticut because it's going to be very warm and humid. And it's actually the Hurricane Center is looking at this little system, too. Uh, they think it's got like a 5 or 10% chance to uh, develop into anything. But the, it really, that's a moot point because that Hurricane Ida is going to weaken and begin to move up uh, towards the mid-Atlantic coast the middle of the week. That's going to be our weather maker uh, this upcoming week, other than our severe weather tomorrow evening. You know, when I say it that way, that doesn't sound too good, guys. We have some weather this week. Dew points in the 50s. We have a bit of a northeast wind. Temperatures in the 60s. Highs today in the mid-70s, mostly cloudy. I don't think we're going to have much in the way of shower activity till we get to uh, tomorrow evening and time it all out for you. Uh, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies. Now, you know, it says 80. This same model did that yesterday. We got to the 76. Subtract three to four degrees and we're going to have mostly cloudy skies. Maybe some intervals of sun tomorrow becoming mostly sunny, partly sunny mid to upper 80s. And that's the chance when we can get some showers and uh, thunderstorms moving through the region. The model kind of slowed this down. Uh, but anyways, be prepared for some storms coming in for uh, tomorrow evening. And then look at this, Wednesday into Thursday, heavy rain, some wind, and we could have some localized flooding because we could pick up an additional three to four inches of rain. And we clear out. Good news is, I think by the Labor Day holiday weekend, we are going to be doing just fine with a little touch of fall. Angelo?